Hello! Welcome to the 17th Annual School World Forum on Social Entrepreneurship. The theme of this year's forum is Collective Strength. Kofi Annan, he had a wonderful line that said, More than ever before in human history, we share a common destiny. We can master it only if we face it together. Human beings are social creatures. We have debates, exaggerate, and aggravate, exacerbate. But make no mistake, we're best when we collaborate. Welcome to the Skull World Forum community. Hello everybody, so good to see you all from around the world. The experts we have on, they're some of the greatest minds in data, but they're also some of the best hearts. It's such an honor to be in conversation with leaders that I turn to when I'm in seek of inspiration. It's wonderful to be on this panel and thank you to everybody concerned in making this possible. I am thrilled to host this discussion on people power, civic engagement pioneers. This is not a time for business as usual. This is a time for business unusual. As some of you know, we've been working, responding to disasters for 15, 16 years. What could the public do if they want to help with data for good as well? Data is how we measure, but there are whole constituencies that are just left out. As indigenous people say, we take care of the earth because the earth takes care of us. It's reciprocity, it's community, it's balance. The pandemic is highlighting the injustices of many of our global structures. We're trying to create some tools that are directly relevant to first responders and public health officials on the ground. For the population of women workers that I work with, there is an epic crisis of impossible choices that no human being should be faced with. We're facing a terrible reality and people have responded incredibly. This is a special time for the Skull community when we gather to recognize five extraordinary organizations working at the root of some of our greatest global challenges. By exposing corruption, we really empower people to act and to take back power from those who profit from their expense. It takes a network to fight a network. These women have an ingrained sense of justice. Give women a little information and they start taking control of the circumstances. I was struck by how difficult it was to connect people with just very basic information about how to vote. So we've worked with elections offices across the country. We're giving them the tools and training that they need to get ahead. And we won't give up until American democracy works the way that it should. It's about deep transformation. It's about healing. It's about the power of community and the potential of every single child. And thanks again to the Skull Foundation. You're allowing us to expand our work in ways that we would never have been able to do otherwise. Resilience of communities, resilience of the health sector is a core theme in this going forward. How do we advance the concept of outsmarting the pathogen? How do you think this epidemic is going to change global culture for the good or for the bad? We're all interconnected and once we're through this, we will have a much better sense that we are a global community. You can't put up walls. We're all in it together. It's this opportunity out of all of this for us to really remember what our core values are and how are we going to take care of each other. We need to start thinking about some structural changes and we haven't been. And we can either wake up right now or we can remain sleeping. After everyone speaks, I just want to be like, preach. Well, I just saw in the comments, mic drop. <laughs> Your work allows us to see a world of possibilities and multiple perspectives. Each of you make us want to be better. Much love. Muchos besitos.